one of the things I find really interesting making work around and, and studying network infrastructure is its very weird relationship to time and to the kind of the scales of time, right? Like billions of years of, of planetary transformation had to happen for me to be able to have a phone in my pocket that lets me know that I have an email. And that seems like a really anticlimactic end to that long of a process, personally. And the amount of stuff also that just sort of the heaven and earth that had to be moved, the, the things that had to be put into low earth orbit, the things that had to be put through the ocean for me to know that I didn't have an email, seems like kind of astonishingly, overwhelmingly large, right? Um, I've sometimes found it useful to describe the internet as sort of the most ambitious terraforming project ever undertaken by civilization, only instead of um, making a not Earth-like planet more inhabitable for humans, we have made the Earth more inhabitable for computers or, I guess, like corporate personhood. Um, but terraforming isn't so much a dream of science fiction so much as it is a warning from it, right? Even in the most kind of idealistic vision of what terraforming can be, it is humans deciding which types of life and which types of landscapes matter and which ones don't, what is kind of the appropriate version of what life should be, and imposing that view on, on a landscape, right? I mean, it's just, it's just a big allegory for colonialism, basically. Um, and it also kind of tends to assume a sort of sense of like entitlement and void in those spaces. But you know, when you're, when you're kind of turning the, the planet into basically a very large computer, what you're really doing is kind of grafting systems onto systems onto systems. You're, you're doing this sort of alchemizing of mineral deposits into machine 